outside at Grafton on Ramorty Day. Let's rejoin Matthew Browning. OK, Rod, thanks for that. We've had the running of the uh, the very prestigious Ramorny handicap and a very deserved win to a very honest galloper in Kidlat from the John Morrissey stable. We'll have a chat with John a little bit later on. But right now I have with me uh, Rod Warren from Radio 2GF who play an enormous role every year in the uh, Clarence River Jockey Club's uh, Winter Carnival. And, uh, Rod, uh, nice to meet you. You too, Matt. Thank you very much. Yes, of course, it's, uh, it's a big time of the year for Grafton. And, of course, Westlawn Investments, who is the company that owns 2GF, they always put a lot of effort into making it... Uh, a huge carnival. Of course, Westlawn Investments race day last week. Sky Channel was here. And uh, 2GF sets up and we do a live broadcast on each of the main days. Westlawn Investments, South Cup on Sunday. Today, of course, and then tomorrow for the Cup. We, uh, we sit up here, we do a preview at 10.30 and then the late mail and a broadcast of all races all day on each of those days. So it's big. Rod, uh, 2GF has always pretty much had a racing connection, hasn't it? I mean, uh, 2GF is owned by Westlawn Investments, uh, so we bring in the Doherty connection, and the Doherty boys absolutely love their racing, don't they? They've been involved in racing for a long time. There's a bit of part-time training going on with Mike, of course, Mike Doherty, and um, a number of them own horses, a number of them, a number of them uh, swing the bag out the back. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, you, as you say, the, the Dohertys have been involved in racing for many years, and Westlawn Investments put a lot of money back into racing, which is the exciting thing. It's been a big year actually for Westlawn Investments. They opened up a brand new motel here in town called the Clarence Motor Inn earlier this year. I'm staying there Rod and uh, I'll give it a big wrap. Impressed? Yes it's very nice. Victoria's Restaurant trying that tonight? I'll probably give it a workout a little bit later on. <laughs> Might have but, to join you. Besides the, the broadcasts uh, of these races on the four days of the carnival, what else is uh, 2GF doing? I notice you're uh, talking to winning connections as they come back to scale. Yeah we have the winner's circle. We uh, bring all the action live to our uh, listeners and of course even though we get a huge crowd here, probably 10,000 here today, it means there's quite a few thousand and still can't make it to the races for one reason or another and we bring all the live action all the color and the excitement we do the late mail prior to the horses going out and of course in um, interview the uh, the winning connections when they get back and of course 2gf uh, brings a racing broadcast of all races on saturday as well one of the very few radio stations left in australia uh, still doing that still bringing a complete broadcast of all races on a saturday must be very proud of terry bailey a former grafton boy now taking over or about to uh, take over the throne when john tap uh, moves over to uh, to take over the pay tv as the senior uh, presenter uh, Terry Bailey will become the uh, the number one race caller, a former Grafton boy. Fantastic news! He um, yes, he started off his race calling here at the Greyhound.